Autobots transform and roll out. But Optimus, what if there's cords? Um, you go first, Ironhide. <laughs> what have you done, Ironhide? You're you're okay, right? Jackpot! What up, Iron Man fans? What up, True Believers? What up, Batman fans? What up, Transformer fans? What up, DC fans? <laughs> What up, Transformer fans? This is Sean Long of LongshotDreams.com being the Transformers Dark of the Moon movie Ultimate Optimus Prime! So here we got the packaging for Transformers Dark of the Moon. Mech Tech Weapon Systems Level 3 includes two AA batteries. Nice, Hasbro. That shows Prime. And you can see it has three modes. It has a power-up mode, robot mode, trailer mode. Finally a Prime with a trailer. And all the bot symbol right here, it says Ultimate Optimus Prime. See on the sides of the box here, it says the robot mode, Optimus and the Omega Combat Armor combine the form Ultimate Optimus Prime. Whoa! There's the tech specs right there. A lot of tents except for speed and skill. On the back, electronic lights and sound, blasting battle sounds, glowing weapon lights. Whoa, robot mode extends to over 22 inches. The ladies will love that. Extending wings, power up mode. Very cool. Love the truck and trailer mode. Ready for the ultimate review? So here we got Ultimate Optimus Prime in his vehicle mode. Finally, we got a movie Optimus Prime with a trailer. Trailer is very reminiscent of the G1 Optimus Prime trailer. It's very gray plastic. A bit nice if it was that shiny crumbs silver one. Maybe Takara will make one. Red Autobot symbol is very nice. Um, just pretty much red paint. A bit nice if it had a little bit more detail. The back of it is really nice. Could use a little more uh, tail light details, but tires are cool. Plastic tires. The mech tech gun is underneath there, which we'll see here. In front of it has this cool silver Autobot symbol right here with the blue. Still very nice. Also has tons of mech tech ports like eight on the top and two on each side. Prime's vehicle mode is pretty nice. Um, you know, it's not the best one we got him, but uh, definitely not the worst. Uh, he's got his flames right there, which are nicely painted and clear uh, windows. Uh, nice silver paint on here uh, for his uh, visor thing. Good detail on there with the, the tanks and um, the wheels, just black wheels and he has the trailer hitch right there. There is a little gap right there for the back paneling, which is a little annoying. Roller, quickly, get into my ass. Oh, Prime, do I have to? I don't have a Leader Optimus Prime Transform to compare it in vehicle mode, but um, definitely uh, this part is smaller than the Leader Optimus Prime. You can check out Optobotimus' review or PIAWS. It actually works better with the Prime Revenge of Fallen Leader Prime in vehicle mode for the trailer. You just have to slightly mod it to fit it, but it, it can work. I'm not going to show in this video how to do the transformation. I'll do it in a separate video, but I'll show off the robot mode and the power. Up. So here we got Optimus Prime in his robot mode. It's compared to other ones we've gone in, it's pretty weak. Especially I don't like that his little uh, panel parts aren't curved like they are in other ones and the shoulder pads are a little awkward. I especially don't like uh, how his arms are very much robot junk hanging. Kind of reminds me of classics Optimus Prime except you know bulkier. Which had a little bit more silver paint detail kind of like right there how I like that silver compared to the gray right there. The feet um, a little weird but yeah the back is not too bad but still it's just Overall, the robot mode isn't as cool as it could be. For articulation, Prime's head can fully rotate. He can't go up and down. His arms can rotate, but his sh shoulder pads, you have to kind of move them around. They can go in and out, bend at the elbow, rotate at the elbow. No wrist articulation, uh, no waist articulation. His legs can go forward and back, in and out, bend at the knee, rotate at this upper part of the leg, and his uh, ankles can pivot forward and back, no ankle pivot though. For size comparison is robot mode. You can see he's an in-between size. He's taller than the Voyager Battle Blades Optimus Prime, but shorter than the Leader Revenge of Fallen Optimus Prime. And both uh, the, those figures are way better than uh, this figure and it's plain robot mode. My trailer, I need my mech tech. Everybody into the trailer. A tornado is coming. We should be safe there. Before you put Prime in this trailer, this is what the trailer looks like after it's transformed. You can definitely see it just pretty much um, like his armor all ready to go, minus the wings being fully extended. But um, yeah, let's uh, connect it. So here we got the Ultimate Prime in his uh, power up mode. And you can see how. Wow, <laughs> he definitely has a whole bunch of bits and pieces on him, as you can tell. Um, 
Wow, uh, it's really big, which I'll show. Big old feet, as you can tell, and his wings, which I'll fully expand. But if you turn them around here, you can see his arms right there. Um, he has big old gun, which I'll show right there um, in a little bit. But yeah, the trailer bits become his wings, and yeah, he is. Big. For articulation in this mode, uh, Prime's head can still rotate. Um, his arms can't really rotate because of the shoulder pads. They can go kind of in and out, but you have to kind of mess with them. They bend at the elbow. Can't really rotate at the elbow because these parts are connected. Uh, no waist articulation legs can't go forward and back. They can go in and out. And the little ankles, they can't really pivot forward and back, but they can. They do have an ankle pivot to do a wide leg stance. And his wings, these wings um, can go, This these parts can go up this far. Uh, this part can go up this far. And these wings can go up really high. Plus these little bit, uh, bits here can rotate to make like little guns. When you fully extend his wings, his wingspan is massive. It's even higher than my review area <laughs> for my shelf. The wings are really widespread, like I said, 22 inches. Look how crazy those wings look. Oh my god. So crazy. I don't know if a lot of people will display them like this. I know I won't. These wings kind of sadly look like butterfly wings. Uh, hello, dragonfly. That's way cooler. I'm not a freaking butterfly. Okay, sorry. I mean, like, dragon wings, fine. Your mom's a butterfly. That's what she said last night. Jeez, Prime, I didn't realize I was in for a rude awakening. And if you thought having massive wingspan was uh, enough for Prime, you can see you play the big old gun. Um, you would flip this around, and then it has a targeting system you place over Prime's head. You see the massive gun. Holy crap. He has little tabs where you place both his hand. Well, you don't want to be on the other end of this thing. So there's two uh, buttons right here on each side that make lights and sounds. So you can see it has little red lights and has little shooting sounds on this end. And then this end has... And the other button lights at the front end of the cannon has little missile sounds. If that isn't enough for you, you pull back this red tab and then the gun extends. I wish it said more than uh, I'm Optimus Prime and that all the electronics were actually in the robot, but still it's cool. You got this huge, massive gun. It's definitely not a uh, film accurate because I don't remember it, a Prime skin. So again, the Autobot symbol right there. Um, it is really massive. I like the little engine turbine thing, things underneath there. Fit the gun in one of Prime's hands, but it's very limp, so it's not going to really look that cool at all. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I believe, I believe, I believe. Go see Dark of the Moon. Size comparison time. So here you can see Ultimate Prime as Power Up Moon is huge. He is definitely about uh, four inches probably taller than uh, Revenge of Fallen, Buster Optimus Prime. See how much taller than this than Leader Ironhide. He is just massive and that's without the wingspan. Like if you count the head or even where the little you know, trailer gun things are. Ultimate Prime is a mixed bag. I do like that he is massive and he it's cool to have an Optimus Prime with a trailer like that you can even use for your uh, Revenge of Fallen or leader figure. Um, but the only problem is, you know, even for the price, you know, it's 70 uh, bucks I got this after tax on Walmart, so it was really 65. For that price, it's not too bad, you know, compared to Ultimate Bumblebee that's still ranging from 100. However, um, he doesn't have that much posability. The, the lights and sounds are all in this gun, so that kind of sucks. And the gun is way too massive. The Takara Jetwing Optimus Prime, even though it's going to be really pricey, is going to be the like Buster Optimus Prime with the uh, accurate wings and guns. And you'll still have the same posability and features from that one. So I think that one will be better if you want the most accurate, you know, Jet power up Optimus Prime, whatever. This one, um, I think, like I said, if you want a Prime with a trailer, that's great. And, um, you know, for the size, it's massive, a, a great display piece. But, like I said, the playability is cool. It's it just like, 
I don't know, it's, it's not as fun as it, it could be for kids and for collectors. Like I said, the uh, Jetwing Optimus Prime will be so much better. So I only recommend this if you're a huge Prime fan and you really like big, massive figures. Otherwise, just stick to the Jetwing one or your Revenge of Fallen Leader one. That one's a lot better. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Stay tuned for more Transformer reviews as well as other toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like. And Sean Long saying until next time. In brightest day, in blackest night. Urban Collector is tight. If you like superhero video game, movie, action figures, replicas, t-shirts, and more, check out Urban Collector. They take all credit cards and PayPal, plus do pre-orders with urban-collector.com. You don't need a power ring to be a superhero, but I think they sell them too. Awesome! They were steel cables, dang it. Steel cables. At least I'm not like that Green Lantern guy. What a chicken. Bacock, buck, buck, bacock. I'm afraid. Look at me. I'm Green Lantern and I'm full of fear. We're all afraid.